Hello YouTube friends. Welcome to part three of my series on raising seahorses. Today we're looking at the food I feed the babies. Underneath the nursery tank I have two vessels. This one is for hatching out brine shrimp cysts and this one is for enriching brine shrimp that is anywhere from one to three days old. I do use my own homemade green water recipe, which you can find in my Seahorse Care playlist. So those are running full time. And in addition to that, I also supplement with frozen Cyclops and frozen Kalanus. Those not only help the babies transition to frozen, but they give much more nutrition than just the brine shrimp alone. They are micro crustaceans, but notice that I am chopping up the cubes that they come in because they can pollute the water very quickly. So by the time I'm ready to prepare it for feeding, it's just teeny tiny little pieces. Then I add some of the enriched brine shrimp from my vessel and that will help defrost the little pieces and I just let them mix in there together. And when my collection vessel is filled, I pour it into a sieve. That is a 200 micron sieve. I always rinse the brine shrimp right after it hatches and also before feeding because just so much bacteria collects just to get much of that off. And I add enough of it to cloud the tank and I do this during the work week, usually twice a day. So first thing before work, I really load up the tank. And then when I come home, I do another feeding. On the weekends, I usually feed a little bit more often. Sometimes it's as many as three or four times a day. But this seems to be working. They are surviving. I also do something a little bit different in growing algae in the tank so copepods live in there and the larger seahorses do hunt for the copepods in the algae but i always finish up a feeding session with cleaning my materials really well with hot water and sometimes peroxide and i let natural sunlight in too that just seems to help the babies grow just like humans benefit from vitamin d from the sun so that is my feeding process in our next part of our series, we're going to show off the large tank, the 300 gallons. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.